And Guinevez handicapped or handcuffed as he is by the top 14 season, which still has the final to play. Semi-finals being played this weekend, which took out all the players from uh, Toulon, Racing, Montpellier and Clermont. And the final in Barcelona is next Friday, so he will not be able to pick any of the players from the first two from Toulon or Racing. Goujon with no way through, but there is a play for nothing really, with the advantage being afforded to Les Bleus. Poussin. Looks for Dante cutting back on the angle. Pume is having to shuttle into position very quickly. Dumont. Seren again just pulling the defenders out of place for the runners coming off his shoulder. Plisson out to Mignot. And they'll go back, I think, for that earlier call from referee Lacey. No such thing as uh, generous silence from the hosts. But Plisson won't mind, he's used to it in France, and that's why bisecting the post for the first kick and three points on the board for the visitors. Winnie Antonio, of course, has got into, well into double figures now for his adopted country. Bonfils steering the ship very well. Little dab through, Dante goes for the ball. How's the bounce going to work out? It just evades him and Landajo is able to clear. I think there was an advantage being played, though. There it is. Oh, just didn't make quite the same contact that time. Sikabelli coming into shot there. There's Landajo, his uh, nemesis and friend at the same time. Oh, the first real break. It's come from Cordero. Oh, Landajo did very well there to keep the ball alive for his team. Facundo Issa, the number eight. Pereira. Oh, the ball goes loose, but the penalty was there for the home side. Sanchez with a very simple start. And three points on the board. that to uh, tie things up off his shoulder. Not there, Seren feeds out to Julian Ray. Creevy able to step through. And Landajo with the break. Where's the support? There it is, Moroni. Feeds out to the big man, Montero. Facundo Issa sets it back again. And suddenly Argentina trying to go through the gears a little quicker. To collect, coming in looking for work, offering options. Herrera again, happy to have the ball in his hands. The crowd realizing the change in momentum from their team. Petty. Six moves. Okay, thank you. France doing enough to just stall them for the moment. The forwards, picking it up once again. Ortega Desio. There's Matera. No, no. Yeah, a little more structure into this attack. Cordero off his wing. Moroni feeds out to the big man. And he's over. He scored the first try last week. He scored the first try this. Manuel Montero is on the score sheet once again. Argentina able to build the momentum, build the pressure. Moroni with the miss pass when he saw what was on. And the big winger able to finish off fairly comfortably. Pulling the winger, the opposite winger, Xavier Mignot, out of position to open the door for Mignot. Nicolas Sanchez with his first conversion opportunity and he absolutely nails it. 
never in doubt from the 27 year old superb striker of the ball again it just swerves away from that left hand upright referee making sure Seran knows two, he can't two. kick straight to touch and Cordero almost losing the ball in the lights but there's that capacity again magic feet Creevy to Tuchelet great width to Montero Montero goes through two gets the ball inside to his fullback Tuchelet puts his foot down and Plisson's not going to get near him and there is the second try for the Pumas when you talk about doing things the Pumas way now and there is a great example of it seeing the opportunity moving the ball out backing themselves and opening up this French defence there was Tuchelet first up to get get the ball wide look at the work there of the big wing up Dante didn't bring his man down and where was that midfield defence for Le Bleu see Serran pulled out of position Plisson unable to cover but where was Bonneval well what a great try for the Pumas and Sanchez keeps the pressure on with the added two points. Well, Tuchelet's ninth try in Puma's colours. With the gas to go past Plisson at ease almost. Because he may have extra things on his mind. Because the scorer for Racing was the oh, arch try poacher of the Pumas, Juan Himoff. Himoff, of course, will not be involved in any of this test series. Remy Bonfils. Again, driving towards that line. His opportunity. And as he scored on debut, I think he has. Let's see who gets up with the ball. It is. It's the Stade Francais hooker. A timely retort from the visitors. And a try on debut for their hooker. Well, Argentina caught cold in many ways from scoring that second try. And again, these French forwards muscling up. And there was very little that Argentina could do. This time just pulls it inside that right hand upright to take his team into double figures. A couple of matches in that World Cup in New Zealand, but nothing since. Dante, his Stade Francais colleague being held and causing the release that Martin Landau is going to try and make the most of Moroni. It's going to be called back by the whistle just for a moment. It looked to be a foot race for that third try for Argentina. But the pass adjudged forward. The problems for France from that loose play. Martin Landau is so quick off the mark. There was the forward pass though according to referee Johnny Lacey. Just a, just a small thing. Yeah. I'm not happy with the, the weight transfer from you guys. Tisson feeding out to pick a moles. Man who once he's finished this tour, this tour in Argentina, will uh, head for the Midlands in England, joining up with Northampton Saints for the, at least the next three years. Seven on the floor, hands. Well, the hands of Thomas Lozana feet. being penalised. Just 12 after Lavanini and Herrera were sent off before half time. Tisson adds a deserved three. Yeah, ball's available, no, we can play. Again, the Devedek. Part of that, Gordon as well. Doing the hard work at pace now, France really upping things. Picamoz tries to drive his way through Montero. Two men of roughly equal stature, it has to be said. France working their way up into the opposition. 22, Creevy coming through. Oh, the kick on Picamoz as well. I don't think the officials saw that, but Gus Creevy with a little flippant kick into the back of Louis Pickermold. 
A very simple three then for Jules Plisson. Brings France back to within one. There's a man making impact. Dante, there's Antonio. Camera on his shoulder. And France really starting this second half at some lick. Mignot sets it back and they go again in midfield. Le Devedek. Gourdon gets the offload, but Goujon couldn't hold it. Now, the Pumas will want to try and make something of this. Good work from Bonneval. The whistle goes, though. I think Argentinians in front of the kicker. Let's just have a listen. Number nine is offside in front of the kicker. Landajo, the man. So they're going to go all the way back. Number nine is offside ahead of the kicker. Number nine is ahead of the kicker. Well, here's an opportunity for France to get their noses in front. Sixteen unanswered points for France, puts them in front. On its way, it's got height, has it got distance? Yes, it has, and Argentina have got the lead once again. Interference in the air. Sanchez again immediately steps forward. Quarter of an hour to go. Four points the difference now. Contest good. Sanchez out to Gonzalo Iglesias. 22nd minute substitute for Juan Martin Hernandez. Like Sanchez got taken a little late off the ball, but Montero's after it just evades him. Oh, so close. Moroni with a delicate yeah. dab through, but just a little too much on it. That Sinbin must be over now for uh, Poro. Maybe that Pantudi is going to stay on the park. Nagizamo feeds Montero. Great offload from the winger, but Biku is the man in the way. Oh, that pass misdirected, rescued by Bonneval. Fiku uses his footballing skills. Mont Sanchez working his way back into Tukulet. Tired bodies all around the park now as we move into seven very important minutes. Again, the width on the ball. Chapado feeds inside. The breaks there from Guido Petty of all people. Guido Petty with a quite astounding score for a second row. What a try from Guido Petty. Just watch this. The feed from his loose head. Okay. There he goes. Picamoles misses his man. Police okay, once again can't get near. And what a score. And is that the score that seals the deal for Argentina? And now there is a little bit of a gap between these two. Five minutes left on the clock for France to make a difference. So that's it. Sanchez sends it to the stands. The referee's whistle goes. Argentina get back-to-back -back wins over, French, over the French, albeit two years apart. Everything in the Argentinian rugby garden is rosy right now. They win this first test against France, 30 points to 19.